you know those anonymous ads that come on your Facebook page. And I really don't know how I even hit it, but I would have told you, nah, clutter is not a total problem. So why I clicked on it, I don't know, but it was definitely the best click I made. Um, I suppose it's been over a year now since I had done my first uh, clutter boot camp. It was just a random Facebook ad that I clicked and thought, oh, for, I mean, it wasn't that much. Like, well, I bought like books that are way more expensive than this. I have not read them or I've done, you know, I read all the magazines because at that time I used to get dozens of magazines and I read all the clutter articles, yet I still had clutter. So it was really like, what do I have to lose? I haven't tried this yet and it looked interesting. So that's where my journey began. I, like a lot of people, had started decluttering on my own several times, had, you know, read the books, done what I thought I was supposed to be doing to get my house in order, um, but really was never very successful. My house was like a storage area where I would go around boxes to get to places. And I just felt like my house was closing in on me. And I thought that I have to do something about this. And I just didn't even know where to start. I was the one that never had people in because I was embarrassed. So I was aware of it. And then I think there was negative, even subconscious self-talk like that. I was just like, oh, it's messy. I don't want to have people in. And I would just like put it to the back of my mind. But that can't be good for you after doing that for like decades, you know? What I realized is that having these four boxes from when my parents died and I'd been carrying them around for 12 years was leading to anxiety. It was leading to depression. It was leading to, you know, not self-worth. It was leading to all of these things. And before Clutter Boss, I was just kind of like, oh, they're just boxes. And then as soon as I started to get into Clutter Boss, I thought, wait a minute, not only are they boxes, yes. However, those feelings, those thoughts that I have associated with those boxes, that is clutter. And it was depressing and it just brought me down. I in the middle of the night, of overwhelmed with my clutter and I was looking for solutions online and I fell into your podcast actually. And I listened to, I like, I think I marathoned your podcast <laughs> through the night into the next morning. I was driving. I was actually, I left on a business trip the next day and listened to it the whole time I was driving on my business trip. And I'm like, I can't wait to get home to do this stuff. So that's kind of how, that's, that's what led me here. When I found you, I was ready for you. <laughs> um, I needed help and I, I didn't know how to do it on my own. That's for sure. So finding your ad was like a godsend. Um, Cause it definitely is harder to sell a home that's cluttered because nobody wants to see that. Wow, this isn't just about physical clutter. It's the clutter in your mind. It's the clutter in your body. It's the clutter just in your whole life. Clutter was just kind of, um, it was kind of holding me back from living. Um, it wasn't long after I joined, you know, the boot camp that I was fortunate enough to um, come into CBA and it just has, has been life-changing. Not just has putting things away and making my house cleaner, but definitely dealing with just about every part of my life. All through my life, I knew something was missing because I would go 100% into something where whether it would be nutrition and nothing would change, or I would go into exercise, nothing would change. I would go into spirituality, nothing would change. And it, what was happening is I was hitting one section of the whole balance, but I was not bringing the balance together. I still have stuff to declutter, but it was so nice to get one thing that I really like and have one area like, hey, that area is kind of done. And I'm able to bring in one piece here and there. That being able to shop and bring in one piece is such a rewarding feeling. And then when I got to the end of your program, I realized that your program was more than decluttering. Your program was addressing what was causing the clutter. And it was because if you don't address the balance in your life, that's where the clutter comes in. So if you're cluttered, it's hard to get to stuff. And it's that time thing. It's like, I don't have to dig in the drawer and look, read the labels to make sure this is the right one. It's in the right place. And it gives me back time. And 
the one thing I heard you say was time is just as important or more than money. And it is. By releasing this clutter, I'm welcoming in a lot more into my life. Why didn't I do this sooner? Letting go of that old emotional clutter is letting go of the emotions behind it. Because you are not here as long as you think you are and have fun. So I think the freedom to like actually enjoy this stuff, don't save it up for a rainy day, use the good china, let's just go. It feels like, it feels like Oprah 2.0 on steroids. I have always wanted to have a life coach and you had every area of my life that would be addressed. And I thought, this is a no brainer. I am in. And so I just skipped right from the boot camp right into CBA. And it was the best decision I've ever made in my life because it's just changed everything. I did change. And I, I know the love is true. It's all about community. And for me, that was real important. And I'm happy to say that my cabinets, you can open the doors and things don't fall out. The idea that I can have, I can relive this emotional experience in my head without touching the physical object is a really uh, important lesson. It was, okay, you now have this information and now you're ready to do it. But just the fact that our house feels not as heavy and we like going home and obviously we're all home more than we used to be. It's just such a completely different space and my kitchen is right off to the right of me and that's, uh, I mean, totally different. Um, it's just, everything is, everything is so different. There's so many accomplishments. How come you can't spend this money on yourself? Yep. And I guess that was the first step. That was the first love. 